It's crazy how your heart just has a mind of its own. I want you. Mm -hmm. My mind tries to deny it. Girl, I can't find what I know. I know. I want you, baby. Ooh. Okay. I love the fact that he just busts out in song every two seconds. You know, on that note. Okay, at that point, you really became like a, obviously a dope artist, mm -hmm. but a sex symbol as well. Yeah, it worked out. Give it all to me, baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I know that, you know, everybody was crazy about, I mean, me personally, one of the songs that I really love is, is that Drip? Yeah. 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 That song, I love that song too. That's a part of growth. Drip is a transformative moment of me letting go. Letting go of what? In the sense of like letting go. Um, up until that moment, I was just really gun ho about like, I just didn't like working with other people. I, I met a brother years before that, um, Ryan uh, Toby. He had always, every time we ran into each other, he'd always been like, yo, we should work together, we should work together. And I, you know, I just really was just like, yeah, okay, okay. But in my mind, I'm like, for me, I just know me. And mm -hmm. I, I wasn't in love with what everyone was doing. Obviously, I was in LA. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to what everybody's doing. I'm a songwriter myself. Tone of music and everything. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't vibing with stuff. So I, we, we never really connected. Fast forward, I'm in a diff different space, you know, spiritually, just in a different space. and. And uh, I just we had just wrapped a uh, new edition. Um, it wasn't out yet, but we Which had just wrapped dope. it. Yeah, connected with him via my bro, uh, my brother uh, Ro James. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Dope. He would he had been working with Ryan, and I saw the connection, and I saw how they worked together, and I just I was like, okay, I, I, I want to see what this is about. The vibe in the room, just us, just was just on point. Why haven't you been doing more of that? Um, because well, I was signed to a label at the time. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't completely happy with being signed at a label and mm -hmm. um, I wasn't eager to put music out under the label. You know, also I, I, I was coming out of a, a depression and I was still kind of in whatever that was that was making me feel the, feel the way that I did. So I just needed to give myself time and, and do the make the proper moves to remove myself from that. Okay, do you mind me asking, mm -hmm. what was the cause of the depression? When you grow up in, inside of a business and it becomes all you know and all you, in, in, in some ways it, it's your value, you feel mm -hmm. that it is your validation. And so when it feels like you're not, that, that love and respect is not reciprocated and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere inside of something that you grew up in, made me look at the world differently, made me look at myself differently and I felt like I had nowhere to go and I couldn't see myself out and so I just got more depressed and I didn't, I wasn't in love with myself, I wasn't in love with life and I wasn't in, I wasn't in love with music, I wasn't having fun. Um, it just, I just, it wasn't, I wasn't in a good place. So. How long did that period of time last? Mm, maybe four years. Maybe, I don't know, could be four, six years. Do you feel like you're out of it now? I think I'm, I think, I think I'm not far from it. Mm, I feel you. Mm. Change of environment um, from LA yeah. to Atlanta. Yes, that helps. That helps. That's. So that's, what is, was this, did it start in LA? It started, yeah, it started in LA. Okay. Yeah, starting okay. in LA. When I got new edition. What's up, man? This is Luke James. I am portraying the one and only JG, Johnny Ooh, Gill. Ooh, say a little yeah. louder. I was, I was, before new edition, I was knee deep, uh, shoot, knee deep, head, neck deep in, in the quicksand. And new edition came like God knows how to do just at the right time. It's movie magic. Get into it. Help me get out of that funk. Help me not think about me so much. Here I am accepting another, a new challenge um, to become someone and to be believable to a world that knows this person in and out, through and through. I have to 
not be vain and think about me and my wants. Now it's time to just let go of Luke James, think about Johnny Gill, mm -hmm. think about New Edition. In doing that, on that journey, it helped me break all these layers and, and hear stories of people going through similar things that, mm -hmm. I'm, that I was experiencing at the time. Surrounding myself with this love. Sunny days. Say hi now. Everybody loves them. These dudes, these dudes who I didn't know at the time, but now know, and we gotta, you know, we gotta click tight because we're, are, we're on the same journey, the same path of like celebrating these guys. Can you stand the rain? Oh, oh. And it, it, Which is a very yeah. big deal. Like yes. you have to, yes. you know, be as someone who's already an icon or whatever. Yeah, that's a lot on your shoulders. It was a lot. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't think about me. I couldn't think about me. My friend told me at the time. Once we had finished, uh, one of the, one of my castmates, uh, my brother Elijah Kelly, he's the one who called me with the opportunity. Shouts out to Elijah. Thank you. Saved my life. You know, he told me. Uh, he said, "Man, out of all of us, you got a lot to lose." out of all of this because you're known as Luke James. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, you're stepping into a field of acting, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody wants to, you know, us as people, we naturally are like, mm, you stick to singing, you know, yeah. da, 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 da. so it's a lot to, this could be another, this is my breakthrough, you know, this mm -hmm. is my second movie, but this is the real, this is where I'm really like in it to shine. What was the first movie? First movie was um, Black Nativity. Oh, okay, yeah. Black mm -hmm. Nativity, yep. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first met, met uh, Jacob Lattimore. That's oh, our yeah. first project together. <laughs> yeah. And when I did that, everything was on the up and up in a sense. Um, just released single, got this movie, just got Grammy nominated. Mm -hmm. um, so you were in a more positive place with the Black was, Nativity movie. Everything was like, it was, you know, it was the surge of Luke James was, be, was booming, was starting mm -hmm. to happen. Um, mm -hmm. I just got picked up by Beyonce to be on our tour. A I remember I saw was, you on that tour, but good. Yeah, so a lot of things were going, like we were on our way. I was in a good place and I wasn't thinking about acting like how I think about it now. So fast forward, New Edition just gave me an opportunity to let go and to, and by letting go, I found myself. I found my child, my childlike self, my, my inhibitions and all that just mm -hmm. came back, you know, having conversations with Babyface and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and New Edition and, and Brooke Payne, Stro mm -hmm. and Lee and all them and just hearing the stories and clicking with these brothers that I just met to become these guys and all this fun and stuff. It was just so much fun. It was mm -hmm. just a lot. And it brought me back to like, you know, we had to listen to old music, classic mm -hmm. music that the stuff I grew up listening and to. And learn the dance routines. Yeah. Oh my God. My knees hurt. Just think about it. <laughs> you know, and it just revitalized me. 